I'm Dr. Rigvet Thudwalkar, and I'm a board-certified consultative cardiologist and partner with the Pacific Heart Institute in Santa Monica, California. I wear a number of different hats in the context of clinical practice, but a few of the areas that I do specialize in include preventative cardiology, lipid management, and the early detection of coronary artery disease. In this role, I am interested in leveraging new technologies to identify the high-risk patient. Using these precision medicine tools, you can then implement targeted therapies to change the trajectory of heart disease. Utilizing Alelica's polygenic risk scoring for coronary artery disease has been a complete game changer for my practice. We all know that genetics plays a strong role in coronary artery disease, but it's been difficult to quantify thus far. We've often had to rely on family history and inaccurate patient recall, and even in those instances, we're not sure if that specific individual is afflicted. But what polygenic risk scoring allows us to do is actually better understand the true genetic risk and stratify these patients into a more appropriate category. This opens the door for more effective preventative strategies for them moving forward. Traditional risk assessments like the Framingham risk score or the pooled cohorts equation are limited because they only focus on modifiable risk factors like blood pressure, cholesterol, and lifestyle. But what we're missing is the genetic component of cardiovascular disease. So polygenic risk scoring actually fills this gap by providing a lifelong genetic risk estimate of cardiovascular disease by identifying thousands of common variants associated with coronary artery disease. So by integrating this PRS testing with the traditional risk factors, we achieve a much better picture of a patient's cardiovascular health, and therefore we can be much more proactive with how we decide to treat them moving forward. One of the key advantages to Alelica's PRS testing platform is the multi-ancestry approach. Historically, PRS models have been developed using data from a predominantly European population, and that limits the accuracy for individuals of diverse backgrounds. So with Alelica's PRS testing, it has been developed, validated, and also calibrated in diverse ancestry groups. And that ensures that risk predictions are accurate and equitable. And this sort of inclusivity is critical in delivering precision medicine that benefits everyone, regardless of their genetic ancestry. One of the most important aspects to heart disease risk is the interaction between LDL cholesterol and genetics. Now in clinical practice, when an individual has low LDL cholesterol, we will often classify them as being at lower risk. But when we run PRS testing in these individuals and they score high, we've actually found that their risk of developing plaque is the same as someone who has significant hypercholesterolemia. So by identifying these patients with PRS testing, we can implement strategies earlier on that can change their trajectory as it pertains to heart disease. PRS testing allows us to move away from the one-size-fits-all approach to cardiovascular prevention. For those with high polygenic risk, we are much more aggressive about their therapies, including initiating statins and earlier intensification of lifestyle habits like their exercise regimen. Conversely, for those with the same risk factors but low polygenic risk scores, we can manage these individuals a little less intensively and feel confident about that. So this type of precision ensures that the recommendations we're giving are evidence-based and unique to a specific patient profile. Absolutely, I have a patient in their early 40s with a strong family history of heart disease and an LDL of 130, but no other traditional risk factors like hypertension or diabetes. Based on traditional risk estimation, this patient would not qualify for preventative therapies, but we did run their polygenic risk score for coronary artery disease and found that they were in the 98th percentile. This opened the door for us to start lipid lowering therapy and to make adjustments with their lifestyle regimen and it's because of this that I'm much more confident about where they're headed uh, in terms of their future risk for events. I'm super happy you asked this question. Patients who undergo PRS testing are remarkably empowered by the results. For example, individuals who score highly on the test 
and have otherwise been told that they don't really have risk markers for heart disease feel a new sense of urgency to improve their own condition so that they can keep themselves away from cardiovascular events. On the other hand, many patients are reassured by a low test because maybe they have risk factors in the traditional sense, but then they aren't certain as to when that's going to manifest or if that's going to become an issue. So by scoring low on the test, they are now recategorized into a safer category, so to say. And as a result, they can feel empowered to know that the pathway that they are taking is uh, appropriate um, if they have not yet intensified their management. Yes, definitely. I've seen patients who've had high polygenic risk scores then go on to be much more proactive about their own health, including sticking with lifestyle interventions and sticking with medications. There's something about understanding the genetic component and having concrete detail behind it that makes them much more accountable over their own health. What I would say to the cardiologist who's hesitant about incorporating PRS testing into their clinical practice is that this is not just another risk marker. This is a precision medicine tool that's more accurately identifying an aspect of someone's care that we otherwise have had a difficult time quantifying thus far. Beyond that, we have lots of clinical validation in terms of how well this works in reclassifying risk. Beyond that, it's also cost effective. So for all of these reasons, it's important that we start to incorporate PRS testing in our preventative cardiology practice. If I could summarize the value of Alelica's PRS test in one sentence, I would call this the new foundation of preventative cardiology. Thank you.